a substantial reduction in the amount of chemicals used to produce almonds. There's a lot less fertilizer, pesticides, and insecticides that, that are used. We've also came a tremendous way in reducing the amount of water that's used to produce almonds. Everything is mostly drip irrigation, micro sprinklers, and it's being applied directly to the root zone of the almonds. There's also been advancements in crops that you can grow in between the orchard rows to put nutrients back into the ground. It also provides an environment for uh, healthy beneficials. So that the good bugs that live in there, they go and they kill the bad bugs, so you don't have to use as many chemicals. We're taking our shell co-product, we're grinding it down, and we are composting 2,500 to 4,000 tons a year. We're making a very good product, and then we're turning around and we're putting that product back out in the orchards. One thing that we wound up doing five years ago is, is we started our own bee company. Our spraying any of our crop protection materials in the evenings, this way when the bees are put to bed and they're sleeping, we're out in the fields, getting our crop protection material on and then trying to have everything buttoned up before they come out the following day for pollinization. So there's been a, a, a tremendous evolution towards sustainability and that is also to the benefit of the consumer.